shrink it up a little bit. There you go, just test it. And it's oh, perfect. Welcome back to Mac TV. I'm Miss Jocelyn, and are you guys ready to have some fun? Yes or yes? All right, let's get started. Today we're gonna be making some paper airplanes. How does that sound? Doesn't that sound cool? Okay, so whenever you guys are ready, let's take a flight. And don't forget, guys, please make sure to ask your parents for help or for their permission, okay? So for your supplies, you're gonna need some paper, some markers, a ruler, and then if you'd like some colored pencils, okay? So now, let's get started with the vocabulary. So the first word you're gonna learn about is flight. So let's take this plane for instance, and then flight is the action of flying in the air. So when you throw it in the air, that's the action of flight. The second term we're gonna be discussing today is distance. So that's the amount of space between two things. So if I throw this from here to let's say to you guys all the way to your house, that's distance. Now, for you older kids, we're gonna be discussing the more difficult terms at this time below. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your packet so you can also look at the directions while you hear me giving it to you, okay? So now we're gonna grab a piece of paper. I chose pink because I like pink. And let's start following the directions, okay? Okay, so first, you're gonna start by folding your piece of paper right in half. Try to get it as equal as the other side, like this. Let me show you real quick. Like this. Don't have one side super like over it. Try to make it as even as possible, okay? The second step you're gonna do is you're gonna open it back up and you're gonna get the top corner, so this one and this side, and you're gonna fold it right in the middle of that crease that you have in the middle of your paper, okay? Like that. And like I said before, try to get it right in the center, okay? You're gonna also do that to the other side. And you also want to have it as even as possible right here at the bottom. So as you can see, for the paper airplanes, all the creases or all the folds that you make, try to make them as even as possible, okay? So now, the next step we're going to do is you're going to fold one of the sides down the middle. So try to get that front part of the fold to get right in the middle of the paper. And you're going to fold it all the way down over here. So do you see kind of like that triangle that I have? Now do that to the other side, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this in half. So that's one of the easier instructions that you have here. And again, you emphasize on those creases that you already have marked on your plane, okay? Are you guys getting excited? Because I am, it's almost time to focus. Okay, so now to do the little wings of the plane you're gonna fold this try to get it the the front do you guys see this right here at the front try to fold it right in the middle so this part of the plane can go like down here so see how this little piece of the paper is like right almost at the middle try to do that to both sides okay so might be a little challenging, so you guys might want to ask your parents for this part, but I mean, if you could do it, great for you, okay? Do this, and see how it's basically even, right there? So now you just lift up the little wings, and then now we're gonna test it, okay? If it doesn't work out, you might want to refold it. Maybe it might take a little while or a few tries, but you'll get it, I promise, okay? Perfect. So now that you have your airplane ready and going. Now we're gonna have to decorate it, the fun part, one of the fun parts. So what I'm gonna draw are gonna be flowers. I like flowers. Now I finished decorating this plane with some flowers and as you guys could see from the beginning of the video, we had this plane done, right? Make sure you make two planes. So the same instructions that I gave you from the beginning, just make two, okay? So now let's get to the discussion questions and the first one is which plane flew further and how many feet did it fly further than the other plane? The second one is how many feet do you think each plane flew? 
So what you can do for that is you can actually walk to the plane and you can see how many steps you had to take in order to get or to reach to that plane. So do that for both planes, okay? And what you wanna do for these test runs in order to answer those discussion questions is you might wanna get a piece of paper or something and do it three times. So like make a box with three little sections and then you just fly both of the planes three times and you count the steps that you had to make for each plane and you write it down on a piece of paper and at the end, you get your answer on which plane flew further. For you older kids, I'm gonna start off with the vocab, okay? The same materials that you need are the same, so the markers, the ruler, the colored pencils, and the paper is gonna be the same, okay? So for the vocab, we're gonna first start off with aeronautics, okay? That's just simply the science of the flight, so throw the plane, aeronautics. Easy, right? Now we're gonna talk about force. Force is the strength or energy as an attribute or physical action or movement. So that's throwing the plane. Now the next word is thrust. Thrust is the force that pushes an object forward. So once you throw the plane and the plane has left your hand, it's the air pushing the plane forward. So lift is the force that acts in opposition of the plane. So that's that means when it's flying, the air that's going against the design of the plane in order to keep it going. For you older kids, we're gonna be doing a different type of plane, okay? So grab a piece of paper, I chose blue, and you're gonna to skip to the packet where it has the instructions so you can also look at them while I talk, okay? So what you're gonna do is the generic way to fold the paper airplane to start it off. So it's folding it in half, okay? Fold it right in half. And then you fold the two upper corners to the middle. The too many triangles, okay? So like this, and like how I was telling the younger kids, is try to make every single crease that you make as even as possible. So, so you see how it's not too far off? Mm -hmm. It's a little off, it's okay, it's normal. And you keep it like that. And then now what you're gonna do is fold this top piece to right where the other, the crease ends. So here, let me show you what instead. That it's lined up to the, where the paper ends right here, kind of the upper top, not the middle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold now these two corners to the middle line of like the middle crease of your paper again. So basically the first step all over again, okay? So just like that. Does it look familiar? It looks like the mini kind that we did in the first part, right? Okay, so now what's next is you're gonna fold it to the middle. Just like that. Do you see how it's coming out? Okay, perfect. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna fold the paper and do the crease to almost to the end of the paper, like right here. Oops. So like that. And again, try to make it even. Like that, and now you're gonna do it to the other side. Try to make them line up, it might be a little hard, it might not be exactly the same, but again, no one's perfect, it's okay. So you see how it's coming out? Do you see? Okay. Now, the last step, before we get to the real fun part, is you're gonna fold this little piece. It, it'll, it can be like half an inch, less than half an inch, just a small piece. Just like that and do it to both sides. So that's gonna be the wing of the plane, okay? Doesn't have to be super even. And we're just gonna fold it up. You might wanna fold it in actually. After you do that, fold it in. So it can look like this. And you're done with the plane. That's gonna be your high glider, okay? We're gonna be doing another paper airplane. So skip to the page that says floating dart. So again, you can look at the directions as well. And we're gonna start with the same directions by folding in half. And again, the two top corners fold it in half to the middle crease. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this little crease again, so 
fold it in basically kind of half again to make that little triangle that we've done with the other airplanes to both sides. And what you're gonna do that's different is bring the little top point of the plane down. So you kind of get this when you're looking at the paper down, when you're looking at it from a higher perspective, okay? So what's next is you're gonna bring this piece, the top piece, when it's folded, all the way to where the paper ends. So right there. And try to make, try to emphasize, emphasize sorry, that line, okay? Because it's an important line. Just like that. And you're gonna let it come back up. So now what you do is you grab like the two corners again and you fold it to where it goes right in half of that middle crease that you can kind of see it's a little faint but just try to figure it out right there okay so you do it to the again to the other side and you push down on it okay try to again try to really flatten those creases just like that and now what you do is you're going to want to hold it in place so what you do is you bring that little top piece down so it kind of like hugs the little lines that you made okay you might want it, it might kind of bring it up a little bit but that's okay so now what you're going to do is try to make it align it with the center crease now what you want to do is fold it so that little triangle that you made is at the bottom of the plane so you're going to want to do the wings and of course you want to make it fly so make those wings pretty low over here so just like that it might be a little hard guys but it's okay oh, my paper looks a little bit it's okay it'll be fine it's a little hard just push okay and then there you go you grab it from the bottom perk it up a little bit there you go just test it and it flew perfect so after I did that test run I'm sure you did yours too you're gonna want to decorate it I actually did it off camera but I went with the most reliable flowers or yeah flowers <laughs> but okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make this tape look. So you're gonna go to your packet and go to this chart and get a piece of paper and just fill it out just how you see it right here. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds, all right? Uh, the distance on the chart right here is gonna be measured for how far your plane went, so how far it traveled, and then you're gonna wanna measure it. So this is why you have a ruler and you're gonna wanna measure it with your ruler and then you're just gonna record your data right there on the, on the chart. Sorry, I forgot the name for a second, but the chart. And then the hang time. Hang time, what that means is how long it stayed in the air. So you can grab your watch. Uh, if you have a smartphone, you can uh, get actual uh, an actual stopwatch, whatever you have, or just do one Mississippi, two Mississippi, you, you get it. So just do that and then put it down on your chart. And again, for every experiment that you do, it's always three trials. So that's why it was numbered one, two, and three, because for experiments, like I said, three trials, okay? So what you're gonna do after that is you're gonna, uh, for the accuracy, what you wanna do is maybe you wanna, I don't know, get like a little hula hoop. If you don't have a hula hoop, just get like a, a paper plate and then just cut out the middle and then try and fly your plane through it. So um, if it actually went through the, the object that you wanted it to go through, you put a little check mark. If it didn't go through that, if it just went completely somewhere else, like, I don't know, to the kitchen or something, uh, just put an X. That means it didn't make it, which is okay. It still flew, right? You have to have good spirits, okay? Don't be disappointed or anything. So that's what you do. And then once you're done with that, we're gonna actually be uh, 
talking about the discussion questions. So your, with the discussion questions, it'll be answered with your chart. So the first one is how well did your plane fly during each test? Is there a way that you think that you could have made your plane fly better? I don't know, maybe doing it, coloring it with colored pencils, or maybe if you weren't in a place as windy, or maybe a windier place. I don't know, you write it down. And then, do you think one paper plane template flew better than the other template, and why? The other one is thrust is the force that pushes an object forward. In this experiment, your hand was the first force. Describe what would happen when you threw soft versus when you actually threw it harder. The other one is lift is the opposite force to throw, sorry, to thrust. Which part of the plane helps activate that force? So you might want to think a little bit, it'll take a few minutes, it's okay. And then how could this activity be done different? Maybe you could ask your parents or maybe you could have made another plane and actually throw it at the same time. What's another way that you could have done this activity? Make it more fun? I don't know. It's up to you guys. It's starting to get a bit warm in here. I think it's time to go because we're done with this activity. Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, we're just trying to make you guys have a little more fun at home. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Hang tight.